Hi Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Have you ever been told you're an old soul? Were you confused about whether it was a compliment or not? It may feel odd to be called an old soul, but it's actually a big compliment. Who knew, right? Being an old soul means you think and behave more maturely than people your age typically do. You have more knowledge and wisdom than expected, and act accordingly. Does this sound like you? Have you ever felt too old for the people around you? Now, before we begin, we acknowledge that more than psychology, this video revolves around a spiritual topic. Even though the concept of old souls is not scientific, they are still something that a lot of people believe in. So, if you're curious to find out whether you're an old soul, stay tuned for 7 signs that tell you you indeed are. Number 1. You focus on the people around you. Have you ever regretted not spending time with someone when they were around? It could have been a friend before they moved away, or a sibling who went to college. It can be easy to get caught up in your own life and goals while forgetting to treasure the people around you. Old souls tend to know this, so they make a special effort to be empathetic and show appreciation for the people around them. It's a huge sign you're an old soul if you take the time to focus on making meaningful connections with the people around you. Number two, you like to learn. Do you have many subjects you'd like to learn about? Is it hard for you to pick just one favorite subject? While no one likes to learn about something they're not interested in, old souls are more likely to want to learn in general. You acknowledge that learning is an essential part of life that can be quite fun. If you have a strong desire to learn, you're likely an old soul. Number three, you see the bigger picture. When something bad happened, did you ever think it was the end of the world? It can be tempting to think like that, since sometimes it does feel like the worst thing ever. However, old souls are more likely to realize that life isn't make or break, and no one thing defines anyone. You recognize that almost everything will pass, so you try to avoid getting too fixated on anything. While everyone feels embarrassed, if you can accept and move past it, you're probably an old soul. Number four, you think things through. Do the people around you seem a little too reckless? Are you the only one of your friends who thoroughly plans? If so, there's a good chance you're an old soul. Old souls have more insight and experience, which makes you more likely to think things through. Instead of doing things on a whim, you carefully plan for the best outcome possible. If you're known as the planner in your friend group, you're probably an old soul. Number five, material possessions don't tie you down. Have you ever felt like your worth was based on how expensive your possessions were? Whether it be clothes, electronics, or brand names, it can be easy to base your life upon the things you own. However, old souls are more likely to realize that material possessions don't measure your worth or how accomplished you are. You don't hold on to items just for the sake of having them, and often have an easier time getting rid of things you no longer need or want. If you're often the only one out of others your age who doesn't rely on material possessions, there is a good chance you're an old soul. Number six, you lead a simple and balanced life. Does it ever feel like things are going a million miles an hour? Between balancing your social, work, and personal life, you may end up feeling overwhelmed and exhausted. Knowing this, old souls try to keep their life simple and balanced with plenty of time for self-care. You know, trying to do everything at once isn't good for anyone's mental health. So if you find yourself taking your time to do things instead of rushing for something, you're likely an old soul. Number seven, you're the advisor in your friend group. Do your friends constantly seek you out for advice? Are you ever labeled as the mom of the friend group? If so, it's a great sign you're an old soul. Old souls seem to have experience and wisdom well beyond their years, so tend to give the best advice. Your friends may have recognized this and decided that you're the best one to help with their problems. While being an old soul amongst people who act their physical age may feel awkward, it can be a very good thing. It means you're more mature and insightful than what's expected of your age group. 
if you're not an old soul, that's okay too. It simply means you're young at heart, which is also a very good thing. At the end of the day, what really matters is being true to yourself, old soul or not. We hope we were able to give you insight into how being called an old soul isn't a bad thing. Do any of these describe your experience with some old souls? Or did any of these points describe you? Do you relate to these signs? And if so, which ones? Leave a comment down below about your encounters with them if you'd like, and please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you find this video interesting, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there pondering whether or not to embrace their old souls. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.